What's up guys, we're here. So today we're gonna cover some big VTuber and art related drama. But first, it is the end of the month and that means my advanced GG code is now boosted until August 4th. Uh, Use code REV30 to get 30% off your advanced GG order. Consider using it on my official flavor jar, Rocket Pop flavor that has recently returned. Really really blind, to save bro. a good chunk of money on You guys that. want me actually blind. All the blind. information for this will be in the pinned comment. So we're gonna talk about- Wait, one second, Kevin I gotta today. plug my vape is an in. artist who is a lightning rod for forced controversy and virtue signaling from Twitter users. He is someone we have talked about multiple times on this channel. We're gonna do it once again today. So Kevin is an artist who makes VTuber assets and also rigs VTuber models, including for some people who are very popular like Mint Maid, Matarakan, and even Iron Mouse. And recently Kevin made this post which would spark a ton of drama. So it's captioned, do you like chubby fit Mitsuri? And you can see his character right Uba. here, obviously inspired from Demon Slayer. But Uba. there'd be a lot of controversy surrounding this use of the phrase chubby fit and what that means. And Kevin would clarify saying this is what he really meant by the use of that phrase. Basically, it's a skinny girl who has a little bit of a tummy or thicker thighs. However, you can see- I mean, see that's not even like a little bit of tummy, but okay. 4,000 quotes, most of them negative, on this post what is going on here well this isn't just about criticism of that use of the phrase chubby fit this goes way beyond into dogpiling and virtue signaling about this post and the artist who made it and here's a good example of how that's like too much i don't know how people get so outrages. you have this vtuber saying angry i probably got blocked for politely Twitter. asking him not to advertise sexual vtuber assets using an underage character to model for it you know so people don't accidentally Mm. Where is she? He's an adult. Are anime characters considered VTubers? No. Yeah, anyway. He is 19. Sexual VTuber assets using an underage character. Accidentally promote slash like sexualizing underage characters and of course uh it, let me I don't agree with a lot of revs takes but i still watch them sometimes i don't agree with like 100 percent of things i think more often than not though he does have some good takes that's just my opinion uh curry Rinji here with the great screenshots your likes may be private but screenshots are forever and as he points out on this detour's other account they do furry art and they also have underage characters being sexualized and yeah i was gonna say no wonder too, an actual underage character but here is the top replies to kevin's post you can see this is not curated this is just the top group here all of them having thousands of likes and all attacking the same thing they are all saying this character is not chubby and one thing you can say is right off the bat they're arguing over a phrase he didn't use. He used the phrase chubby fit, but every single person here has removed fit from that equation. And now they're arguing about what is actually chubby. And you can see some people have a very subjective view of what makes a character chubby. Some people in the quotes are trying to claim this is chubby. But if you look it's at this comment right here, a little I want bit to more than chubby for a second. They say this body is not chubby. It is a normal and healthy body. Labeling it as such perpetuates harmful stereotypes and unrealistic beauty standards. Posts like this are the reason so many people have body issues. Now, I get what they're trying to say here, and I mean this with, like, no flame. I'm not trying to flame this person, but the second you start comparing your real-life body to an anime character, you lost. Like, you're gonna be disappointed. They're not realistic. Of course, mm -hmm. they're hyper-fit or made in a certain way because they're, they're drawings. I mean, I'm still confused, though. So what's the point of saying chubby fit? Well, cause she has she has booba. She has some thighs. 
when you talk about chubby, you're talking about like the mid region, like the tummy. You don't say someone's chubby because they have big boob. Right? Or am I stupid? All right, you, you don't call someone chubby because they have bigger thighs. That's never why people say chubby. But she has, like, no stomach. But I'm not, like, I'm not upset about it, though. I'm just, like, confused. I would never be this motivated, like, this passionate. It's like, okay, you fucked up with one thing. It has no effect on my life. GG, go next. You can make them as perfect as you want. So this is a, a bad standard to work with. But while some users had some, you know, reasonable attempts at an argument here, like they're not trying to be super disrespectful. If you go to the quotes, you see crazy stuff. You see dozens uh. of posts like this. This user saying, I think we should kill all men at this point. This person saying, game end yourself. This person saying, I'm going to take my life in front of you. This person saying, chubby in quotes, just tell me to game end myself. This person saying, this is why women keep getting diagnosed with eating disorders. So you look at these quotes and there's dozens like that. That's like, like wait a, second. a lot. This isn't just about criticism of the term chubby fit and how it was applied to that character. There's something going on here that's way beyond this. And this whole thing, the amount of reaction that Kevin has gotten for this post is the result of dogpiling. People want to dog. Again, that getting offended over the terminology used in a semi SFW post is where you genuinely need to fill out a fast food application. And this guy is very well known and he gets a lot of shit like all the time. Like this guy is being talked about all the time over something stupid. Okay, first off, or first of all, like they think the character's underage. He's not. She's 19, as we saw before. Second off, it's not even, like, sexualized, really. Like, okay, yeah, she is booba, but she has booba in the show. She's in a bikini. But if, even if you drew her in her original outfit, it'd be about the same booba, you know? I don't know, this is, like... I don't understand why people are so angry. He just does art. He does art for like really respectful or like uh, respectable people. Like I think he rigged one of Iron Mouse's models. Same energy as fuck men. Tampon should be free. Women have it so hard. By the way, I'm six one. I mean, I wouldn't complain if tampons were free, but take the fucking metal out of them. I just, I don't think, um, he said it correctly. He was like, you know, the second that you compare yourself to an anime girl, you lost. Like, it's just so mentally ill. Like, in a, not even to be, like, that type of person, but you have to be, like, so detached. And that's just, like, Twitter. I hate Twitter. Twitter. Going after Kevin is something that people see as uh, popular and safe, and they do it for clout and attention. So it's very obvious and it's reflected in a lot of the responses like this. So this user captured a screenshot of a tweet that's now deleted from another VTuber where they say, I am begging the VTuber community to stop using him, Kevin, for rigging just because of Iron Mouse. I blocked him so long ago for the whistle and now this stuff- Oh yeah, that was the other girl. thing. Whistle asset for Iron Mouse's model. So basically like a toggle that she can use or whatever. Except, I don't think that's what it was for necessarily. And, like, I mean, it definitely wasn't for that, right? But I think the asset is more like it's just like the danger whistle or like the, you know, the stranger whistle. There's been so many instances, just because you saw it in like a vine, doesn't mean that's what that was originally for. And even if I'm wrong, like there's so many other instances where things like that 
exist. Not just in, like, some gross, extremely, like, hard situation to be in, like, a traumatic experience. It could be, like, oh, there's a stranger that's walking way too close to me. Whistle. Or, like, oh, I'm in danger. Whistle. But it's supposed to be, like, a funny, like, it's like a funny, playful asset. It's like, oh, her friend Connor, like, he just killed me in the game and we're supposed to be friends. She might blow the whistle or something. You know, it's like not that serious, but people take something and then they make it something else to get pissed off at. A lot of conversation about this whistle asset in just a second here. So here's another VTuber saying this. The chubby model drama with Kevin is pretty obvious he's trying to distract with his new Mitsuri model. So everyone forgets about his previous lollicon models slash assets he's done in the past. Like, remember the R-word whistle assets? Why make that in the first place? And then this user says, his work is abhorrent. People need to be shamed for stuff like this. But so then they call it a buzzer. An asset that Kevin made a few months ago, this uh, so sus it's buzzer It's not even a whistle. Asset. So what's this all about? Well, this came from the music video Lolly God Requiem oh, by right. Shigure Ui. A very popular and well-liked VTuber. This video that the asset is inspired by has over a hundred million views on youtube but people are not calling out shiguri ui who made this video and this that is so fucking weird age matters when she's not real to begin with even if she's 17 it's not that bad well i mean she's very obviously like school age so you're sexualizing a character that is school age Now, if you're still in school, that's a little different, but I'm just, I'm assuming that an adult is drawing that art, and I still don't want to see it as an adult, because when I watch the show, it's very obvious that these characters are school age, but these, the My Hero fandom is so, there are no borders to them. It's a lot. I have a Discord message. One second. No, I didn't increase ads. I don't touch the ads. They're at the minimum per hour for me to get revenue. This kind of randomly happen. Every hour, there's a new set of ads. So embarrassing for at Iron Mouse tagging her to get any other assets or models from him when they have such better choices in artists and riggers. So here is the issue here. It's not just about fair criticism of the term uh, chubby fit, like I said. Now they're trying to literally hurt his bottom dollar. They're trying to hurt him financially by shaming people like Iron Mouse so they won't work with him anymore. That is insane. Every now, time something happens with this Iron guy, Mouse, they talk about the how you shouldn't get money from people anymore. Over the years. I think but these are like the same people that demand that they lower their prices. It's like, ah, oh, like, I don't know what's wrong with all these riggers and modelers. Like, they just, their prices are so unreasonable. And like, yeah, they're expensive, but they're also like at the top of the what game because they work on all these you know, popular models. This is unacceptable. Like, I don't know, do you expect Iron Mouse to go to someone that's a mediocre artist with these things? No. You're not the demographic. There are levels to artists, and I, I could go on a huge rant about this, but some people simply aren't thorough. You know, they're, they're slow. A big competitive point in any art industry is how fast you work for the quality that you, you put out. And a lot of people fall short. This guy doesn't. That's why people like Iron Mouse depend on him over somebody else.
yeah, these people, like, they want to break this man down so bad. Like, these are all people that could not afford their service. She would be very, very offended by what you're trying to do here. You are trying to shame her into basically bending to your will because you have an issue with some of the assets, the fictional assets that Kevin has made. And again, you are within your right to not like those things and to be disgusted by whatever it is, whether it's like the fact that he uses a Marin Kitagawa uh, model for some of his assets or the assets themselves. It's fine not to like those things, but just block and move on. But instead of... Also, Iron Mouse's model doesn't just kind of like spawn in with this asset. Like her just not knowing about it. Like you discuss the different parts of the VTuber that you want or things that are already offered. Like, yeah, okay, so I made this asset. So this is like, you know, my menu of things I can add on to your model. But it doesn't just like sit there and get unnoticed. You know? And I mean, Iron Mouse's character is a lolly. Saying lollycon is a little bit much, but is a lolly. Understand the difference. Thing of blocking and moving on. Even the people who are either being blocked by Kevin or blocking Kevin themselves are still adding to the dog pile. So this artist right here says... Since this is trending, I guess I should share my experience. We were mutuals and he blocked me just for commenting on his post where it was revealed that he literally uses rigging templates. Please support riggers who actually rig from scratch. This literally streamlines the process so you could put out things faster. What's the fucking problem? So this is a very odd thing. I, I've seen a lot of artists comment on this and they say using templates like this is very common. In fact, it's working smarter, not harder. Like this is not exactly. something that should be used to shame or criticize Kevin. It's a very unfair thing to do and it's disingenuous. They're only doing this and trying to demonize it because it's Kevin and they're trying to attack this guy for attention on Twitter. Here's another one where this person said, I kept seeing people blocked by him, so I jokingly checked to see if I was, and I guess I am. I haven't said anything about this creator like once from what I can remember. Maybe a comment from legit months ago, but nothing recent. He has to be looking up his own name and blocking everyone he sees. Not gonna lie, that's childish and cringe as hell. Not everyone's gonna like you, but he's free to block whoever he wants. I'm not upset since I never followed him. I just find it funny. Yeah, he's free to block whoever he wants, and I'm not upset, but I'm going to make a whole paragraph and a tweet about him blocking me. So people have freedom Real. of association. They can block whoever they want on social media. If, you don't, if they don't want to talk to you, they don't have to talk to you, or they don't want to engage with your content or have you engage with their content, they're free to block you. That is yeah, it's like the haha, this is so awkward, but, but that you're saying version of advertising cringe to block it's pretty you accurate. while making a whole post talking about it. That is childish and cringe. But people would, in the comments say, Kevin is nice, so I don't know. And the VTuber responds saying, I don't think he is. He makes inappropriate assets and demonstrates them on an underage character. He practically scams his clients with his rigs. What? And I've seen him respond to criticism very negatively most of the time. So there's a lot to unpack in a very short statement. So number one, we know what the issue is, okay? It's not about any sort of criticism. It's about the fact that you don't like some of the fictional content uses with his assets. And on top of that, you make a claim that he is scamming his clients with a practice that is very fair. And on top of that, you say he doesn't respond to criticism. Well, well you know what? If you were in his shoes, I think you wouldn't respond the best all the time too, because he has literally thousands of people trying to demonize and attack him for clout on Twitter. I doubt you Real. would handle it very well too. But this user would respond saying, honestly, he's been nothing but nice. Claiming he's a scammer, you have any evidence to back that up? Because I'd honestly like to see it. Where they write a whole bunch of word salad and at no point gives any evidence that he's a scammer. Basically just saying they have a hunch that he is because they don't like him. Moving on, another person would try this tactic saying since he's finally catching heat, 
I'll just drop this here. And it's the fact that Kevin is following this end wokeness account. So they're literally follow policing him now. That's how low it is. Like he is one person out of 2.3 million. This is an insanely large Twitter account. That is the lamest thing I've ever seen. A follow doesn't equal an endorsement, by the way. And it's a very, very cringe thing to do. 2.3 like, in policing, two years? That's super lame. And it's a very weird standard. It's basically saying fuck? like you vouch Dude, I'm actually a failure. the account says if you follow for them. It's a really weird standard to work with. But on top of that, we would see some people respond. And I think and actually productive way so a lot of people are talking about the definition of chubby right and what characters look like chubby what makes a character chubby it's obviously a subjective standard but instead of attacking kevin over his chubby fit post this person leads by example and they make their own interpretation of what they think a chubby slash plus size model looks like and they have it right here however even this would attract toxicity from people who are angry about kevin where this person would say here fixed it up for you here's some key things you dude that's a a sick line you made here bro is too got too wrong. busy shaking with anger to draw a, that i fixed your art moment right here where the artist would reply saying look man while i very much appreciate your input i didn't ask for you to directly fix my art you could have just told me your input without touching my drawing chubbiness have different sizes and body shapes to it it's not a specific shape i understand if you're not happy with my work and i happily told people i'll do more body shapes for plus size models soon but that doesn't give you the right to revise my work which is a very fair and appropriate i love when people i i'm sorry i'm very opinionated in this field but i love when people that are objectively worse at art Tell me what to do about my art. That's, I'll leave it at that. Response to what this user was doing, who would deflect all the criticism launched in them by saying, sorry, I have autism. Huh? Nothing works on this acne. I'm like, hi. Who? I'm a Let me back in. Provider from Curology. Who would deflect all the criticism launched in them by saying, sorry, I have autism. Well, eventually Kevin would make a follow-up to all of this stuff, explaining what's going on and why they're blocking certain people and what their thought process was with all these. Yeah, it's like the haha, this is so awkward. No, I already read that. It's funny as fuck. It's like a silver player shit talking a GM. Exactly. Not that I'm like a god, like I'm not at this guy's level. Like I'm still really getting around digital art, but I learn things all the time, whatever. But I at least have a basic understanding of anatomy. So when I have people try to like, oh, this is a sick pause face actually, but um, and when I have people try to explain to me like, no, it should be like this, but then I look at their page, it's literally like a glorified stick figure. Now you were a GM, I saw your art. Well, thank you, but I have a lot of work to do still. I was doodling, I should post it. I was messing around with something stupid yesterday. It's not like anything crazy. I just had fun, you know. It's like something mindless to do when I was in VCs. This is bad. Humans have four legs. Basically. No shut up your GM. Well, I'd have to open it. I mean, I could just show... No, I, I don't want to show art on stream. I've explained why I don't. Or I could just well I want to put my watermark on it first too, actually. So I might also post it on Twitter. Post so Kevin says this. Different body standards exist. You are quickly projecting and forcing your own onto others. I struggle to gain weight and my art style leans towards skinny. I think Chubby is super adorable and my ideal is obviously different from yours. We all have body problems in real life. I don't know you. I don't represent you, nor am I an authority or your therapist. Deal with it. Also, I blocked you because you use slurs, attack, harass, gossip, and accuse me of R-word and pedo. Uh, your profile is filled with vile words 
and you clearly don't enjoy my sense of humor, here is your explanation. Go check the boxes yourself. To my soldiers, stay tuned for more epic content. You ain't seen nothing yet. What I'm about to do with this character. In fact, they would make another post after that jokingly saying, Guys, what song is this and why is she what is she holding? Should I make a VTuber asset? Obviously, uh, poking fun at the controversy they got into a few months over that asset. But anyways, that's going to do it for this situation. Obviously, a another round of unhinged users dogpiling on Kevin because they want clout. At the end of the day, like I said multiple times in this video, it's not about any sort of fair criticism. It's not about actually caring about these specific things. It's about harassment and dogpiling for attention and clout on Twitter. And Kevin is just the latest target for people to do that towards. And again, if people would give this sort of energy that they gave Kevin's post about body shaming and all these issues to legitimate bad areas like on Twitter and TikTok where uh, eating disorders are glorified by people in True. big accounts and there's just terrible body shaming, anorexia, like people literally starving themselves to death. There is a lot of really bad people in those spaces and I wish they would direct their attention towards those legitimate bad actors instead of Kevin, who's just making a VTuber asset and model and using a term chubby fit that people are missing. I just, I feel bad for this guy. It's, it, I feel like it's only been a week since the last time I heard shit that he's going through with people. It's so intense and but his, his blood pressure is probably high as fuck. Wait, why is that? Why I don't put art on my stream? I mean, I get a lot of scam accounts, and a lot of scam accounts end up in my Discord from coming into my stream. That's the whole reason why I secluded the art channel to people with the role. And if I suspect a scammer joining my Discord, now I have a quarantine role, so they can't just find whatever. I also don't want them to, like, interact with others, like, spam DM everybody and be like, hey, check out my Instagram. Look at all my art, and then it's Iron Mouse's model. Because, you know, I deal with a lot of those. So that's why I don't. I don't want my art anywhere where there isn't, like, you know, obvious watermarking. Can I please get a quarantine roll? Why do you want the quarantine roll? You can't see shit with it. Well, I should do one better and make like a quarantine channel so all the quarantine people can hang out there by themselves. So I think if you don't give them like at least one channel that they can look at, then they'll still be able to look at a place where there's a lot of people. Scamsite.com, hell yeah. Signing up right now.